All right, everybody, what is up? It's Thunder. Welcome back. And man, I hate to do videos like this, fellas. I hate to come out here and rip this game uh, because this game's been good to me, man. As much as I complain about Call of Duty, bro, this game has been good to me. This game has changed my life, bro. This game's given me a life I couldn't even have imagined 10 years ago before I started doing this shit. Uh, so it kills me to come out here and do this, but I got to keep it 100. And dude, once again, a new low for Call of Duty Black Ops 4, man. I'm talking about the new triple play bundle that just dropped. Actually, I'm a little late on this. It dropped a few days ago, but I've been busy, man. I'm, I'm going to talk about it now. Uh, a triple play bundle came out, and it's featuring a $28 melee weapon. A $28 weapon called the Home Wrecker. Damn right, son, because once your wife or your parents or whoever find out you drop damn near 30 bucks on this thing, they're going to throw you out or disown you. This is the Home Wrecker. <laughs> Seriously. $28, $28 for this dumbass sledgehammer that may or may not shoot shotgun shells. I don't know. I've seen a video where they load shotgun shells into it. I don't know if this thing's a combination melee weapon shotgun. Which would be kind of cool. Still, I wouldn't pay no $28 for it, man. Now, I did go out and drop 10 bucks on that Vampire Hunter Mastercraft. And I, even I said it was dumb. I, I shouldn't have done it, but I did. But, man, there's no way in hell I'm going to drop three times as much on a melee weapon slash hybrid shotgun. I don't even know. Ooh, the four-piece dinner, baby. Woohoo, come on in. Quad feed calling card. Come on in, son. I mean, it's just, Treyarch, what is going on here, dude? Now, this is so bad and so bullshit of a deal. Even Michael Condry himself chimed in to roast Treyarch. <laughs> Condry came in and roasted Treyarch, man. It was absolutely hilarious. He said, to be clear, AW launched only with rewarded supply drops. I have no idea because I only played A-Dub for maybe two or three days. And then I just, I, I just couldn't do it anymore. We were driven by and at the service of providing fans more ways than just xp to earn rewards customize their creative class and express achievements in the virtual lobby 30 dollars for a melee weapon not on my watch so condry came out even he thinks it's ridiculous and this is a guy who brought supply drops to call of duty sledgehammer is a game that introduced pay to win son pay to win i mean are you gonna be paying to win with this sledgehammer is that, does anyone have this yo how many of you actually went out and got this, dude? And don't say you did it for the tier skip or the bullshit uh, MK2 weapon variant. Because you guys saw I got that Rampart MK2 weapon variant in my last upload. The live com I did, Bare Bones. And all it is is yellow paint, man. It's not even a different weapon with like a different cool iron sight. It's the same weapon. It just has yellow paint on it. It actually looks like shit. <laughs> so, I mean, the Mastercraft ain't... That's not worth 28 bucks. What else you get? You get 10 cases... That's not worth 28 bucks and 10 tier skips, dude. Like 80% of the supply uh, stream is calling cards and stickers, man. That's not worth it. None of this stuff is worth $28 to anybody. How many of you guys went out here and purchased this thing? I want to know. Drop down the comment section, man. <laughs> Which one of you guys dropped 28 bucks on this hammer? And do any of you guys have uh, this home wrecker of a gameplay of it? If you guys have a gameplay using this home wrecker melee weapon, send it to me. Because I want to do a commentary over this thing. There's no way in hell I'll ever get it. And I don't think this is something you could get out of the reserves. Uh, I mean, I think this is probably the only way to get this home wrecker melee weapon is to purchase it here. I'm not sure. If anyone knows any other way to get this sledgehammer, drop it down in the comment section. But, yo, dude, I miss the way the triple plays used to be. You guys remember the Black Ops 3 triple played? You went out and got a contract for free. It didn't cost no $28. You and I got a contract for free, and then you go out and grind the 100 wins. And then you got, like, I, I can't even remember. I think it was, like, 10 rares. And then you got a melee weapon, and you got a ranged weapon. I mean, all this is right here is a melee weapon with uh, no ranged weapon at all. Well, I guess the MK2 would be a ranged weapon, but it's, it's just a different paint job, bro. I mean, it don't change the way the gun looks. And the tear skip ain't cutting it, man, and these... <laughs> These reserves ain't cut the cases. It's just trash. Like I said, man, Black Ops 4, I don't think is the worst game ever made. I don't think this is the worst Call of Duty game ever made. It's just the worst managed, worst 
handled Call of Duty game ever made. I mean, this is insulting, dude. Th 30 bucks for a damn hammer? Bro, the game costs, what, 60? So you're gonna pay half the price of the actual game for a hammer? Then the season pass was, what, another 50 bucks? And, I mean, unless you're a Zombies player, uh, the season pass was a complete waste of money. Because the Zombies maps are worth it. The Zombies maps are worth the money. But if you just play multiplayer, all you got was four shitty maps, bro. Four maps in six months. Remember when they promised us the most free content ever? We thought there's going to be a, a new map coming to the game once a month, keeping the game fresh. I don't consider this a new map either, man. Contraband Hurricane. I don't consider weather effects a new map. Sorry. I mean, it's cool. Don't get me wrong. I like the weather effects, but that don't make the map new. I'm, I'm not going to say this is a new map. Damn, look at that feed with the strike team, son. Damn going in baby but uh yeah it's just insulting bro i mean i don't know who's behind this i don't know if this is treyarch's idea activision's idea but if you look at what condry said he was like yo 30 dollar melee wrench not on my watch that just goes to tell you that you know the studios actually have influence over what's being sold in their game it's not all just activision somebody over at treyarch was cool with this somebody over at treyarch said 30 dollars for a sledgehammer which may or may not shoot shotgun shells come on in Season pass holders should have got all this shit for free, man. Or at least a discount. I mean, Activision, do you know what you've done? Or Treyarch or whoever, do you know what you've done with this game? You've pretty much killed your chances of ever getting anyone to buy your pass ever again. The pass was such a waste of money. I don't know anyone who thinks this was a good uh, purchase, the pass. I, like I said, unless you're a zombies guy. But Blackout, what did you get? A couple of dumbass skins? I mean, honestly, what did you get in Blackout? Like, hardly anything. In multiplayer, what'd you get? What would you get, like four shitty ass maps uh, infested with like old prestige masters with diamond camo maddoxes and shit sliding all over the floor with Chris Co Booty Pro strafing all over the place with olive oil on their boots with that sog with double stock? Yeah, you could keep them lobby, son. I'm all set, man. Level 500 prestige masters blooping all over you with aimbot. Yeah, I'm all set, bro. I will never buy another pass for Call of Duty ever again. Let me tell you something right now, uh, Activision, Infinity Ward, you guys better have the maps free in Modern Warfare 4. I'll tell you that right now. I don't even know what you guys are going to do to try and sucker people into buying uh, the pass for MW4 this year. But, yo, the Black Ops 4 has alienated so many people. Uh, I mean, it, it's going to be very interesting to see what Activision and Infinity Ward put together to try and get people to purchase their pass or their prestige editions, or whatever the hell they're gonna try and... They're gonna have to tug on our heartstrings big time, dude. They're gonna have to bust out Soap. They're gonna have to bust out Captain Price, Ghost, like everybody, dude. Makarov, bust out everybody. They're gonna have to do everything to try and tug on our nostalgic heartstrings to get us to purchase any kind of pass for MW4. You know what I think they're gonna wind up doing, guys? I mean, Black Ops 4 was such a disaster. I think here's how... Activision and Infinity Ward are going to get you to buy the pass. If you buy the pass for MW4, you get Modern Warfare 2 Remaster Multiplayer. Boom! That's the only way I can see anyone going out and buying a pass for MW4. So that's what they're going to do. They're going to hold the uh, MW, MW2 Remastered hostage behind the pass. I'm predicting it right now. So you're going to have your MW4... Uh, now, if the rumors are true, uh, Infinity Ward's not doing a Battle Royale. Triarch's going to handle that. So, uh, Modern Warfare 4 would basically just be a campaign. Maybe Zombie Space Land like they did before. I thought that was pretty cool, actually. I didn't mind Infinity Ward Zombie. Look at this dumbass. <laughs> Dude missed me with that mixtape, son. Uh, but I think that that's, what's, that that's what they're going to do. Infinity Ward's going to come out and be like, Yo, here's MW4. We got Campaign. We got the Modern Warfare 4 multiplayer. Camp like Osama. Look at this dude. Oh my god. Look at this cancerous shit right here. Oh my word. Oh, that strobe light shoddy cheese. Damn, these dudes are going to be running right back to bare bones after this. No strobe, no operator mo uh, mods and bare bones, man. But that is what they're going to do, fellas. They're going to, if you buy the pass, you get to play MW2 Remaster. I'm calling it right now, man. Let me know what you guys think. Drop down in the comment section. Thank you all so much for watching. And guys, please do not go out and spend $30 on this home wrecker ranch. They call it the home wrecker for a reason. You buy this shit, you might be homeless. I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm out. Peace!